a couple of things I want to highlight because we talk about parasites as helping to improve our immune response when we knock them out or if we, we're infection free, right? Kind of my adage is everyone has the right to be infection free and everyone has the right to have more than one infection going on. That's very possible. Um, the second concern is these parasites can affect digestion. And what nutrients are we talking about? Well, we're talking about things like zinc and magnesium and selenium. These are very important minerals that need to get ionized. We need hydrochloric acid to ionize them so they can be soluble in our bloodstream and so we can absorb them and utilize them and transport them. We also know antibodies, right? Our immune cells, IgG, IgA, IgM, antibodies are made from protein. So we actually need protein to make our antibodies. So if we have deficits or let's just say bottlenecks in our ability to digest and break down and, and utilize and assimilate and absorb protein, that's going to be a problem. And then what about our fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, we know is really important for the lung epithelium, right? We're worried about COVID-19 and lung health. Vitamin A is very important. What about vitamin D? Well, we get it from the sun, right? But we all, may also may take it supplementally and get some from our food. So we need good absorption there to take in our vitamin D. What about vitamin C? That's a little bit easier. It's water soluble, but if we have poor absorption, it's possible we can have some bottlenecks, especially if our microvilli and our small intestine are inflamed. Our microvilli are our little vacuum cleaners that suck up nutrients. So if we have inflamed or um, atrophic villi from infections or food allergens, that's going to be a problem. And then what about like our sulfur-based amino acids like cysteine, glutamine, glycine? These are the amino acids that make glutathione. Glutathione is one of our master antioxidants. It helps with our detoxification pathways. Glutathione is a really important redox nutrient. And redox means it gives off electrons. So when we have a lot of lung inflammation, especially with COVID, we need to make sure that we are giving off, we have enough glutathione to deal with and give off electrons to stabilize the free radical oxidative stress that's happening from the infection. Does that all make sense? It does. It sounds like a mess when you say it all like that, but it is a mess, meaning you could really get disrupted from a hormonal perspective. Also, you kind of tied into the zinc and some of that, but zinc is really important for mental health too. Uh, you know, zinc is something that helps to balance out that zinc copper ratio. A lot of people have mental issues, whether it's schizophrenia or OCD or ADHD or all sorts of stuff that can be tied into an imbalanced zinc copper ratio. So you may think that your mood issue is completely just on its own and a psychiatrist would help, but no, it could be totally related to the parasite infection. And then one other thing I wanted to say too, is regarding the toxic load, you mentioned not having enough of your sulfur-based amino acids. These are the precursors to make glutathione. Well, then that happens. Now you start picking up more toxins. So if you get exposed to glyphosate or you get exposed to toxic mold and mycotoxins, now all of a sudden you don't have any sort of mechanism to get rid of those things. So now you're even at a more disadvantage. And this is how people can, people that don't address these issues can become more sick over time. It's because now the original thing, the parasite disrupted the mechanism to get rid of the toxin over here. So now you've got a toxin problem over here and you've got a parasite problem over there. And I, we see how this thing can spin out of control. The good news is it's all completely reversible.